changed Moses at the burning bush. One encounter with divinity changed Jacob at Bethel. One encounter with sovereignty changed Saul on his way to Damascus. This is your chance to have your own encounter with the Holy Ghost. One stage, three nights, one God. The Encounter 2018, a live music worship experience at the City of Refuge, the Glorious Fountain Ministries, located at 71 Airport Road by St. Mary's Junction, Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, ministering Noel Robinson, Nathaniel Bassi, Freke Umo, Reverend Weke Ikoge, Boyega Sachs, Reverend Victor Atinaga, Pastor Anos, and of course, your host, Pastor Ego and the Glorious Fountain Choir. This incredible encounter will be happening December 21st through December 23rd at 3 p.m. daily. One encounter with God can change your life forever. See you there. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. His name is Jesus. Come on, say it. He is Jesus. Hello there, you are once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It is a season of joy, it is a season of glorious, beautiful celebration. And we see you need to understand what you are celebrating. And that's why we are having this special session, Christmas recording, to focus on the reason for the season. And you know Jesus is the reason for the season all over the world people are celebrating and you know we went back to the book of Luke to look out for the reason and you know look for the past two days we've been looking at what Luke has to offer and he did a very thorough work and came out with a very concrete evidence about Jesus you know birth and the reason for which he came and you know, that culminated, uh, got to the climax with his death on the cross for you and I and his resurrection. We mustn't always forget about that when we celebrate because the reason for his coming is for him to die on the cross. And we, yesterday, were looking at, I mean, the parents of John the Baptist, Zachariah and Elizabeth, how Zachariah went in to burn incense in the temple and encountered the angel of the Lord. And you know, the angel of the Lord told him that his prayers has been answered, that God has heard their petition after many years of waiting. I don't know what you have been going through, but this is your own season for an encounter with God Almighty. It is the season where God visits his people in strange ways. I want you to be expectant this season. I mean, today, I want you to have your hopes high, strong, believing God for a supernatural visitation. The scripture talked about the child that was to come as one that will be great and distinguished in the eyes of God. And yesterday we were talking about the fact that people try to be distinguished in the eyes of men, forgetting the most important, and that has been distinguished in the eyes of God. And then scripture says he shall not drink wine, but he shall be controlled by the Spirit of God. Some people have settled for strong drink. They have set, settled for the drink they call spirit. That's alcohol, all right? But you see, the Bible says, this one shall be controlled by the Spirit of God. And the next verse revealed to us something more about this child is not an ordinary child. Now, it says, he will turn back and cause to return many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. Now because of him, many of the sons of Israel shall be turned to God Almighty. Now can you imagine, now Jesus is a child born with a purpose and a mission. Now the one who is going to be his forerunner, John the Baptist, was born just to do that. You know, in the book of Isaiah, the prophecy was given every Valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill shall be made low, the crooked path shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And then it says, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. 
Now, the forerunner is the one who goes ahead to see to it that every valley is exalted, every mountain and hill is made low, the crooked path is made straight, the rough place is plain. He wasn't talking about physical terrain. He was talking about the state of the heart of man. And so that's why verse 16 says, he will turn many back to God. Many from their crooked ways will come back to God, and that's just what he did, all right? And verse number 17 says, and he will himself go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn back the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient and incredulous and unpers unpersuadable to the wisdom of the upright, which is the knowledge and holy love of the will of God in order to make ready for the Lord a people perfectly prepared in spirit, adjusted and disposed and placed in the right moral state. So this is going to be a kind of revolution. Look at the things that are spelled that the discharge that will be delivered by Elizabeth is going to come in the spirit of Elijah. He didn't say it is going to be Elijah, but it's going to come in the spirit of Elijah. In other words, he will have no time for nonsense. He's not going to have time for frivolities. He's going to be so focused. He's going to be so rash. You know the way Elijah told King Ahab, you and your father's house are the ones troubling the whole of Israel. He didn't address with any sense of, oh, you know, unnecessary respect for those who were not living to honor Yahweh. So he is going to be very bold. That's what is, the scripture is going, I mean, scripture is saying, and that he will turn the hearts of the father to the children. What is that talking about? There's going to be a revolution that is going to cause parents to fulfill their role, all right? There are so many persons who parry themselves as fathers, but they fail in their duties. They need to get back. Fathers nurture, all right, and bring up. Fathers take up responsibilities. So he's going to turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And then went on to say, and the disobedient and incredulous and unpersuadable to the wisdom of the upright, which is the knowledge and holy love of the will of God. So there's going to be the knowledge and holy love. Holy love of the will of God. The holy love of the will of God. There's, you know, there's going to be there's passion and craving that is going to be mixed with love and a desire for the will of God. You see, when you really look forward to encountering God and see the real miracles we're talking about, something, a holy hunger will come on you. Jesus said, blessed are them who do hunger and thirst for righteousness, so they shall be filled. And because of that, certain unusual things will begin to manifest. And that's just what the scripture is talking about. And what is the purpose of this? It's in order to make ready for the Lord a people perfectly prepared in spirit, adjusted and dis disposed and placed in the right moral state. Hmm. You know, when we have the event, the encounter, we try to create the atmosphere for people to encounter God. And so we consecrate ourselves and we listen for his voice and we care for the songs we sing, the prayer we offer, and the things we focus on. And once the atmosphere is right, the glory of God is released. And I sense we are in that season again and the atmosphere is getting into place and your miracles are going to be made manifest. But you see, most importantly, Make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. And I'm telling you, your life will never, ever be the same again. Jesus is here to make your life wonderful, awesome, and glorious. Make him the Lord and Savior of your life, and you'll never regret this. Till I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Ego Lewis. Yet we will. God bless you. Show me your glory. One encounter with God.
God changed Moses at the burning bush. One encounter with divinity changed Jacob at Bethel. One encounter with sovereignty changed Saul on his way to Damascus. This is your chance to have your own encounter with the Holy Ghost. One stage, three nights, one God. The Encounter 2018, a live music worship experience at the City of Refuge, the Glorious Fountain Ministries, located at 71 Airport Road by St. Mary's Junction, Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, ministering Noel Robinson, Nathaniel Bassi, Freke Umo, Reverend Weke Ikoge, Boyega Sachs, Reverend Victor Atinaga, Pastor Anos, and of course, your host, Pastor Ego and the Glorious Fountain Choir. This incredible encounter will be happening December 21st through December 23rd at 3 p.m. daily. One encounter with God can change your life forever. See you there. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. His name is Jesus. Come on, say Lord of hosts, he's my Lord.